Anyway, I haven't actually said this on YouTube yet, but um, we're very proud of Hacker Day Instructables, Life Hacker now. I'm not sure if that was in the original video, but it's brilliant. How many views have we got on Life Hacker? Nearly 20,000, I think. Yeah, it was just under 20,000 when I looked. So oh, you can't tell on Hacker Day, but Hacker Day increased our, um, it increased our YouTube channel views. It tripled our subscribers. Tripled, no, more like times our views by five. So we're really chuffed. And um, we're, we're brilliant. We're happy. Uh, explosive discharge in a different abode. We're in Dom's my house, rather than Chris's this time. Anyway, this morning, Chris went to a local boot sale and picked up these pieces of shit. There's no way for it. No brand name. MOSFET amplifier. What this does is it amplifies MOSFETs, right? It doesn't. It's shit. It weighs... Looks like they'd be nice and bulky. It weighs about the same as this glass of water. Pretty, pretty similar. Anyway, none of these work. One of them has a constant protection light, which is just fucked. The other two, one of them makes the speaker up. Ex What's the word? Excur <laughs> excursion. <laughs> one of them make the yeah. It makes the speaker go mental, regardless, because it's got a shitty crossover, and the other one doesn't do anything. This one, which I've had for a while, which is, if I can try and show you, try and film under there, Jet Sound, no idea, never heard of it. That's the one you ran those two pioneers from, with the yes, SLA. in the other video. This works really well, but recently it's developed a fault that's temperamental, as you can see, we've got audio at the moment, but when there's a certain point reached with the game, uh, everything just stops, I'll see if I can try and do it, you may have to get deafened for a little bit games at max, someone's going to blow up. Right, I can't produce the error. Before it stopped working, and we just hit it on the side, and it started again. Where's the Allen key? <laughs> Hammer. Anyway, if there's any, uh, Anyone that wants to buy these really good amps, right? They're a really decent brand. They amplify MOSFETs. Five pound each. Five pound each. You've got to come pick them up though from a uh, top secret location. We're not telling you where it is. That might just be one of the reasons why it uh, doesn't work particularly well. Looks like he's had a very hard life around there. Especially sort of a. Uh, yeah, you can see it's been scratched quite a lot and. Uh, burn in the middle and someone's clearly tried to bridge that with a bit of wire which is particularly good is that that's the tracks being burnt off the PCB yeah that's what's happened there the tracks got hot and the uh, sort of green masking has been burnt off exposed the copper underneath and you can see the copper's blown they've tried to bridge that with a little bit of wire and been completely unsuccessful in it this is Dom's Cambridge Audio A300 amplifier, and it has had it, unfortunately. We've been uh, taking it apart and having a look at it, and there's a thermal fuse built into these little transformers. And uh, I believe it's on the primary side, the thermal fuse, and it's gone, because we've got uh, no continuity and no resistance across the primary side. And the, uh haven't tested the secondary side yet, actually, but uh, we won't get any voltage out of the secondary side. So we're going to uh, unwind the secondary and have a look at the protection fuse. Hello, welcome to Explosive Discharge. We're uh, winding some cable around the transformer that we've resurrected. The thermal wangler, what's it called? Thermal fuse. The thermal fuse had gone, so that's been replaced with a really nice fuse which isn't existent. We just soldered it together. So, we don't have any problems, but we're on. Okay, right. Right. Let's do it! Right. I think it's on and we've got 1.5 volts. This is our uh, oversized replacement for a AA battery, <laughs> which puts out AC. <laughs> so there it is. That is what we have made today. But little uh, comparison is just above fist size. I'm losing the short one. Should we short something with it? What do you want to short? Should we short this fan? Put a couple more windings on. Hmm. It's kind of disappointing. Now it's going red, there we go. Uh oh. 
Have <laughs> oh, you got something glowing at last? No. No. 1.6 volts, roughly. How malleable is that? Um, I can't really. <laughs> yeah, there. not very. That's impossible. There it is. Get ready on the. Oh fuck! It buzzes. <laughs> um. Yes, it's loud. It's loud. <laughs> oh. Go until it melts, or uh, no, I think we'll fuck the transformer first. We should probably let it cool down. So oh, the transformer. We've got fire. We've got fire. That's stone cold there. Why is it on fire in there? It's not happened yet. Quite a bad connection, I'd imagine. Oh, actually, I think this is coated with something. Is oh, that There's a label on one side of it. No, I'm sure that'll catch fire. <laughs> is the label burnt off yet? It's very, very neat. Right. Chris, a little while ago, bought this off eBay. It was sold as a inverter. An inverter. 220 volts. However, we know it wouldn't be good, but it's worse than it's worse than that because it actually just converts 24 or 12 volts to 220 volts DC. So it's completely pointless. It does nothing. If you plug it into something, it'd fuck it up, probably. Plug it into a toaster, you'll fuck it up. Toaster from an inverter is always a good idea as well. Yeah, so DC output. And um, what does it say on the front there? What does that say? That looks considerably like AC. But I think that's a manufacturer. It also lot. looks like they've written AL as well, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Really crap. Oh, form. yeah, it also puts out 6 volts USB. USB at 6 volt. We're going to crank it up on the new transformer. Well, we're actually yeah. letting that cool down, then we're going to blast a little bit of Alley to shit. And then and we'll sort it out. And we'll send this video to the manufacturer as well. What of this? Yeah. Ready? Drop this! Oh, it opened it. Oh no! Opened it quite well actually. It's just a little end that's popped off. Look how well it's made. Oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why is it so well stuck? It's one pound seventy four, mate. It's going to be quite good. <laughs> it's still screwed together. I don't want to destroy the PCB. You really have. You just put all of your weight on it, mate. <laughs> Nearly went in your eye. Brilliant. As you can see, don't just shear the PCB. It's screwed. It's good quality. It's probably one of those paper-based oh. PCBs. It is, isn't it? Because it's just bent. I just, I just didn't bend. It's ruined, mate. Here you go, tiny little transformer. Or some, we, some kind of little. Uh, what are we doing to this? A bit right, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I did a uh, output test, and it, um, to see how many amps it puts out, and it was pretty much. On a dead short, nothing. Not dangerous. I'd say that's dangerous, to be honest with you, selling something like that. I'm not sure what the uses of it would be, but... <laughs> yeah, I think it's a barrier rectifier. We'll just have a little look around on the PCB. Down here we've got some diodes. I think there'd be a Zener diodes for regulating the 6 volts for the USB. A couple of capacitors I'm sure we can blow up, and a little LED. And that is the uh, output. You can see from the size of that transformer, we'll, we can, we'll compare it to my little finger. It is tiny. We're just doing a little test of this, um, the JBL apparently, they make audio components anyway. A uh, little inverter we got off eBay. So, um, think, oh, Chris, is this wired up right, mate? Is that okay? Um. No, let me just check. Um, oh, I think it's where right. does just, that even go? Yeah, where does that connect oh, to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm having this shit, mate. Oh, the whole thing. We yeah. married the clip off! <laughs> oh, the LED came on then, right? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> Pop the LED with millions of volts. It won't, there's only it's one point five AC. Volts. That'll be fine, we can just run that like that all day. What however won't run like that all day is some of this shit right there. Ooh, these bits are going everywhere. P 
People that make these advert that make me sad. <laughs> Such a piece of shit. Try and get the ground plane for the rest of the PZB. I'm not even sure what that was, to be honest with you. I don't think this even has a ground plane. It's it shit, no. It? Oh, we have fire on the other side of the board. The LED's then. gone. So we can just pop them. No idea what that was, but that was quite nice. Goodbye, rectifier. Trying so hard to short. How is this rectifier taking this abuse? Well, it's just dead short inside now, I'm sure. No way is this good for it, but. I wonder what the manufacturer rated this time. 50. I don't like USB, I want to see it glowing red. Glowing red. This is for the people that invented USB 3 and made all my devices obsolete. We're actually just ruining our cable and catching fire to stuff and it's burning your phone quite severely. That is red hot. I can't hold that anymore. He's <laughs> 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 oh, it set fire to metal. Fuck you, it's... USB. <laughs> Look at the smoke. Oh dear. <coughs> well, uh, designers of the uh, cheap iron inverter, this is for you. Hello, this is BT. We're just going to do a line <laughs> test on your line. I'll just say, this is magnesium and there is an important factor where safety glasses. We have to do is sort of get the bradle glowing and then ignite it with the bradle. Mmm, wow. That's fantastic, that one. Alright, that'll do for me because I can't see anything now. That is brilliant.